And she was like, hey, I got a question. What's the difference between Frederick and Breeze? You know, I never considered that being a dick. Well, 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 I will answer you. I will answer you. Before. First, I had to know which one of us you think you're talking to. Wait, 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 wait. I got a question. What's the difference between, you know, a therapist and, and some nosy person just trying to screw with my fucking head? Because you know, you're not a therapist, right? So that would make you a nosy person. Just trying to. Frederick always gets like this. <laughs> Protects everything he wants to give people from people. He's like a guard dog that would love to play fetch. He just refuses to let go of the stick or his heart or his insecure, I mean, he wants people to see him. You know, he just doesn't want to be exposed. He's very abstract art. Paints passion with how he loves, but can only picture the pain and broken that loving hard has always left him with. So all you end up with is this beautifully shattered, open wound beating on the canvas of his I don't really know how to explain it. But uh, you know what, guess what? It, it reminds me of this movie I seen once. The, uh, okay, 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 let's talk about Breeze. Let's talk about Breeze then, the poet, who puts love in his art and writes to love himself free. But, but that's so stupid. You're not free just because you can cleverly articulate your chains. You know, you know, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid when he takes his shoes off on stage and that the space is safe and sacred for him. But there's nothing safe about bleeding pretty for people who aren't going to help him clean up the mess you make of yourself. They can't, can't go in, poet, and never even consider how the fuck you'll get out. I get it though. You know, why Frederick is so guarded, you know, he hates being misunderstood and people don't even try to understand him. They just sit comfortable in their assumptions of him and use him as a scapegoat to justify how badly they treat him. I watch him be caution taped into a cage quite often. And now he's just a crime scene. I look at him and I can't tell if he's a suicide victim or a murder weapon. All I can tell you is that it's his heart that's constantly dying, and it's so sad, you know, because it's the best part of the movie. The movie about the guy who kidnaps the three girls, and then he got a bunch of personalities trying to take over his unknowing body. Oh, oh, okay, okay, you're using Breeze's openness to expose how closed I seem. Well, let's explore that, shall we? This, this openness only makes him a gun range, a bullseye, a target for rifle rhetoric. He doesn't understand that love is a fighting word. Why the fuck do you think the, the heart is the size of a fist? He's so weak. I'm tired of him calling me weak. He doesn't understand the strength it takes to hold on to anything. He's really just a coward who measures his strength on how far he can push people away. Breeze! Breeze is just a buffet of trauma, offering himself up for everyone to pick through his scars to get full of his faults and leave without ever finishing a fucking plate to all that's left on the table's dirty with a scratch of him. They always leave a hot split. That's the name of the movie. Poem. Mo movie. Split. Um, anyway, I don't know how to answer this question for you. All I can tell you is that that is the case. I just wish there was someone out there who could just look, just love all of me. Come here. Lisa Boyd, second of the round. All right, here it is. The score is a 9.4. A 9.5, a 9.8, a 9.9, .9, and a 10. Good.